We're out here today in the hot summer heat, and we're talking about simple hacks and help you catch more creek fish this summer. All right, tip number one, super simple. Before you even get on the water, you need to outfit your spinning setup with braided line. Why? Because braided line floats. If you're using a top water, that makes it even better. But any lure you're using, this is gonna give you zero stretch. So you're going to, as soon as you get a bite, you're gonna set the hook, you're gonna get a fish in. But even better, when you throw that bait in a tree, like you're gonna do whenever you're creek fishing, no matter what, you're gonna get that bait back. You're gonna be able to yank that thing out and pull it right out. Tip number two is actually what I'm walking on right now. And this is a little tip that's actually gonna help you to stay up when you're walking around slimy rocks like we are in a creek right now. I take my old pair of shoes like I've got and I put a small piece of fabric and I'll glue it to the bottom of my shoe. This just gives you a little bit extra traction as you're walking around all these rocks. Really cool tip that my grandpa showed me and it makes a huge difference, I promise you. Tip number three might seem counterproductive out in the hot summer sun, but it's one you really need to do. It is wearing dark colored clothing whenever you're walking, especially in a clear stream. You want to have that dark clothing because you're silhouetted. You're not going to be seen bright and crazy and bass can't see you when you walk up to a hole. As well, bugs don't like to be around dark clothing. If you've got a white shirt or chartreuse or something of that nature, bugs are going to swarm you. Oh man. Oh gosh. I got him, I got him, oh gosh, Devin. Tip number four, guys, always wade upstream. You wanna wade against the current, go up, because whenever you do that, you're gonna present your lures in a natural manner. Bass like that. What a beautiful bass. No, you got the right lure there. They like a teeny pop R from the Banking Creek kit. Tip number five, our last tip. This one might seem redundant. You might say, oh, duh, I know to always do that. Always bring a pair of scissors. Get yourself a small pair of scissors, just like the ones I keep in my pocket right here. They slip into your back pocket. You can cut your line. If you're using a banking creek kit like I am right now, you wanna change lures quite a bit, or you wanna just kinda of, you know, mess with your lure, your treble hooks. It can even help you just to pry the hooks out of a fish's mouth. This is the absolute number one tip, and I forget it a lot, and I end up just out here trying to shave my bait up against some rocks to cut the line. Always carry some scissors. Oh my gosh, dude, now. Ha! Ooh, that's why you throw a top water in the creek, man. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Come on. Oh! Oh, it's on the outside of his mouth. Please don't pop it off. Please don't pop off. Oh, man. Why is it when you have a good one on, you gotta start talking quietly like you're in a crowded place? You! Guys, I can tell you one thing right now. If you even use a couple of these simple hacks that we're talking about, you are going to catch more bass this summer and you're gonna have more fun.